All right. Good evening or good morning. So I'm going to start talking about astrology, something that I have come to love and study and analyze. And I just really love it. Um, I was wondering some things about myself um, a few weeks ago and I started to look things up and we have a natal chart and we have different types of systems um, of astrology and I am not really into Western astrology although I do think it has its place however I go by sidereal 13 signs astrology and I will probably make another video about why and the difference between Western and sidereal but on tonight I'm going to be talking about my mercury placement the house that it's in and then my progressed mercury placement um the sign that my mercury progressed into because you don't just have a natal chart but you also have a progressed chart as you grow um you progress your 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 um your placements progress to other signs and the progressed um sign description is different from the natal sign description and so that's the best way I can explain it really quick because I am not a certified astrologer I have not went to school for this I am just explaining things the way that I understand them in my own life as I'm on my own path and so I'm going to start with what does the mercury sign mean in astrology mercury rules the urge to communicate and its sign position at the time of our birth indicates the way we go about this. The sun position of Mercury in our birth chart also describes the nature and quality of our mind and the kind of thought processes we habitually employ to solve everyday problems. And so, with that being said, my Mercury is in Capricorn. And so, I'm going to read... Uh, about Mercury and Capricorn, just to give you all an idea of what it's like to have it in Capricorn, or just to give, um, you know, just a general understanding, because that's pretty much all I'm doing. I only want these videos to be like 10 minutes long, because I made long videos, and I feel like that's too long to sit through, because our attention span is not that, you know, it's kind of short. And I think it's just better that way. So I have Mercury in Capricorn, in the eighth house and so i'm going to read mercury and capricorn the capricorn mercury is fascinated by the legacy of history and cultural traditions they may be cautious in their thinking but not necessarily adverse to innovation they're able to take new ideas and give them form using an earthbound perspective that seems to reach into the distant past i am very very good with th doing things like that um, I'm trying to do introspection and find my own way of explaining these things. But until then, we're going to go ahead and read these good articles. <laughs> They're often driven to leave an enduring mark on the world. They strive to bring ideas into form. I'm sorry, into thought form, institutions, research, works of art, etc. that are built to stand the test of time. Now, I also have, like I said, Mercury in the eighth house. So I'm going to go to the next article. And read the, um, well, I guess I should go back and read that because, yeah, just wait a second. Mercury in the eighth house. Okay, so I'm just going to read a little bit about this and then I'm going to read the progressed uh, Mercury. Uh, my, my Mercury progressed, my progressed Mercury placement. So Mercury in the eighth house. Let's see. Okay. Those who have Mercury in the eighth house of their birth charts will have an inherent interest in getting to the bottom of things. And, I, and that's me. That is so me. I have to get to the origin of the thing or things, whatever it may be. And I am going to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. Um, they have a perceptive and probing mind with a penchant for reading between the lines and detecting the truth behind the lies. 
For them, research is a pleasure and they enjoy digging up the type of information that only a savvy and clever investigator such as they could ever find. People with Mercury in the 8th house are interested in understanding psychological, psychological implications and meanings behind what is explicitly said. Additionally, the 8th house can highlight a lot of neurotic and high-strung qualities of Mercury, hence the reason why I should be asleep, and yet I am awake. <laughs> in house 8, Mercury can compel an individual to often read into things that are not necessarily true or be inclined to be ever on the lookout for double meanings and hidden motives. As a person who has this placement, that is very, very true. However, that is a reason why I try and I strive hard to go over things and to really check myself to make sure that I am not reading too much into something. And if I am to make sure that it is of some substance and some truth, because you know, that that is a problem. Individuals who have an eighth house Mercury may gravitate towards the occult and learning about metaphysics. They are keen on finding ways to transform and shape their circumstances, especially when they are faced with a crisis or a harrowing situation. In these, in these situations, the eighth house can either serve as a catalyst for toughening the mental fortitude of the individual or causing them to unravel and suffer a mental breakdown. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Mercury in the eighth house highlights the power of the mind to change and control one's life path. The way I see that is that when I'm going through something and it is really bothering me or something has happened, I will go through this process of undoing the situation, looking at it from every way possible, turning it inside out, doing all these things. And for me personally, it always works. I know for, for a lot of people, it may probably take, if, if you don't know how to control it, I think that's what it is. If you don't know when to stop and if you don't know when you're doing too much and you're, you know, exacerbating your mind or exacerbating, you know, the, the, the probing into a situation and you're making it worse. If you don't know how, when or how to stop that, it, it can be a tough placement. And so I have learned that when I am doing too much and when I'm starting to feel overwhelmed, when I get a headache, you know, I, I just know that it's time for me to power the hell down. Sometimes it's hard to do that. Um, however, the great thing about that is when you do have that control, you can, you can kind of shift your mind to form kind of a new reality and control the path that you go in. Um, I think that's the best way for me to explain it. I'll keep going. People with this placement are likely to feel indebted to someone who has had a transformative influence on their thinking or gifted them with a significant piece of knowledge and insight that they hold dearly. Furthermore, Mercury in the eighth house may instill a sense of obligation to others in terms of teaching and spreading their valuable knowledge and insight. That is true. That is why I have a YouTube page because I personally feel that the things that I have to say and my perceptions of things and the way that I, you know, understand them, I feel that it's valuable. And I'm trying my hardest to convey those messages in ways that are not just entertaining because I'm not really trying to entertain people. This is just how I am. Um, I would like it to be interesting. Uh, so that's one thing I can say. Um, on the negative side, it can also foster a penchant for hoarding knowledge for the sake of consolidating power and control. I hoard knowledge, but it's only because I am not really around people a lot. And I really just honestly love to learn. If I, I, I can definitely feel that I can have control over, you know, a situation with things that I know, but because I know that that is dangerous and I don't like to do that, I do the best that I can and I think I do a pretty good job to um, not activate that, you know, that that is within me to do um, a tendency. But at the same time, if I'm challenged, <laughs> if I'm challenged, it can happen. All right. Now, let's get to the progressed um, Mercury placement. So 
my progressed mercury is in pisces and it remains in the same house as it is in your natal um your natal chart so i am experiencing a lot right now in my psyche and i that's why i feel like i was led to look at mercury my progress chart and look at the mercury because i know that the mercury rules the mind and the thought process and things like that and so I really wanted to take a look at it. And when I read this, I was like, I'm done. Because a lot of people think that astrology is not real or they think that it doesn't apply. But I feel that if you really do have a connection with yourself and you're in tune with yourself, your natal chart will absolutely open up a rabbit hole within you for yourself to go down and explore. And that will keep you out of people's business as well. Mercury, progress Mercury in Pisces. When your progress Mercury enters Pisces, your mind can be a bit foggy and you have a hard time with traditional mental tasks and projects. So logic and reason go out of the door. I'm a moon in Pisces and so it's already been out the damn door. <laughs> and the Sagittarius sun and both of those are ruled by Jupiter. So hey, this is a good period for studying the occult, metaphysical, spirituality and to open your mind to the beyond. If you allow yourself to be open, you can make incredible discoveries. So try not to force yourself to, to be all logic and reason. There are many ways to learn and they are all important in different ways. Check which houses your natal mercury is in and rules to see where you can make discoveries. So in this article, they also provide a house explanation or description. And like I said, um, in my natal chart, my mercury is in the eighth house. And it stays in the same house in your progress chart as well. So progress Mercury, I believe it does. I mean, you know, I'm, you know, still studying. So, you know, if I'm wrong, correct me. Progress Mercury in the eighth house. When your progress Mercury enters your eighth house. Oh, shit. Now, could it be different? Okay. When your progress Mercury enters your eighth house, it's time to look at the world in a different way. You may dwell on more serious subjects or want to get the core, get to the core of matters and decide to study things like forensics, psychology, or criminology. Progress Mercury in the 8th house is similar to Progress Mercury in Scorpio. So read that placement for more information. So for me personally, I have noticed that my mind is very foggy and it is hard for me to communicate and I I am kind of in and out of reality with the way that I see things. However, if you don't have, to me, in my opinion, this is my opinion. If you do not have a good hold on how to navigate and extract things from the other realities, you can become delusional. And I'm guilty of that. However, I have done a lot of I have done a lot of practicing, making sure that I test what I get from the other realities or realms as to make sure that I am not delusional, if that makes sense. So that is Mercury in the eighth house or progress Mercury in the eighth house and in Pisces. And again, in my natal chart, sidereal. My Mercury is in the eighth house in Capricorn. And so that sums up my video and I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I really never wanted to say that because I hate when people do, but here I am.